really rare. Look at this. So I'd love to take my girls. I can't tell you anything about it. Though. Exciting week next week. My friend's just had this done. She's had like, and I do not do it often enough. I can't believe I'm actually saying that. But hopefully, I'll be able to reveal to you. Turning out to be a little nightmare. These are my photos. Really nice in summer. Definitely well worth the wait. This is the best day we've had so far. Good morning and welcome to another week. We are on a really rare date lunch, lunch date, yeah, just the two of us, which is really nice. We're in York, um, it's the bank holiday Monday, we have no children, which is amazing. So we are heading into York, we're gonna do a potter around the shops, and we are off to Phoenix for um, some lunch. They have a cafe in there, which we haven't ever been to. In fact, I don't think my husband's even been in the Phoenix, so we're gonna have a look around there. But they've invited us to go and try one of their new menus that they've got. So we are heading in there now, it's such a lovely day. It said it was gonna rain, so I was expecting rain. I've got my pink trench on from Hobbs, and I've actually got a lovely pink shirt on as well. This is my LK Bennett one, it's on my Instagram feed if you are interested at all. Anyway, so we are heading down there now. We're going to catch up with my husband, he's gone off ahead. just come round to the ivy it's not open yet but look at this wow it's a great place to have your photos isn't it the coronation they always do it so well their doorways I don't know when Jigsaw will be open. Good afternoon, I'm back. I've just had a lovely shower and a facial, myself I did it, uh, scrub and I put this mask on. Looks a bit dodgy, doesn't it? <laughs> um, it's a really good one. I've just had a sample that I thought I'd try. I've got lots of different samples at the moment, so I thought I'd try this mask out. Anyway, I'm just gonna sit and get some work done, but I wanted to talk to you about the restaurant we went to earlier on. So we actually went for breakfast this morning, um, but they do do a lunch offer, which was really reasonable now off the top of my head I can't remember what it was 
um, and they do do afternoon tea. And I think that restaurant is really hidden away. You just don't know it's there unless you went into Phoenix and you actually looked. But I think it's a really nice place to go to. There's lots of space. There were lots of ladies with buggies. It was very friendly. It was just a really nice atmosphere. And they had a kids menu too, which was really good. Most places these days that I keep going to, they just don't have kids menus. They just offer smaller portions. And that doesn't really work, especially with my kids. So it's the sort of place I'd love to take my girls, actually. If we did a shopping trip out, then we would hopefully go there afterwards for afternoon tea or some drinks or maybe even lunch breakfast in the morning it was just a really nice place so I totally am going to go back there uh, they invited me to come to see what it was like and to review it almost to show you so my recommendation is that it's really good and I totally recommend it so if you're looking for somewhere in York that's nice and bright and friendly and nice food then this is the place so I yeah I recommend that I have loads of editing to do. I did a photo shoot for a client, I think last week, and I haven't done any editing, so I need to get on with that. And then I might try and head out for a walk later on while I've got some free time and try and get as much done as I can. I have got a lovely day tomorrow planned of nothing, which I'm really pleased about. My life is just chaotic so much going on um that i was actually supposed to have uh, a friend for lunch and she can't make it now so i'm actually really pleased because it means that i can crack on because i'm so far behind i've got some really exciting things coming up at the end of this week and then next week it's really exciting can't tell you anything about it though i shouldn't say that should i uh i hate it when people do that as well when you're watching like vlogs and people are like oh i can't tell you about it and i'm like oh just tell us no I really can't I've been sent a contract which says please do not talk about it so I can't anyway but it's really exciting so please do watch that vlog it will be the following week afterwards but I'm preparing for it this week by making my skin nice sorting out these nails so I took off the nail varnish that was on it which was like layers of shellac my poor nails and I've decided that I'm going to use this new product that's been sent to me. So let me show you that. So I've been kindly sent this from this company here. You can find it on Instagram and they obviously have a website. So they sent me this set. They sent it actually quite a while ago. And because I've had my nails done, I just haven't got around to using it. But I really want to use it because it's really dangerous with some light if you know what I mean. So this is an LED lamp, so this is fine to use, but some of the lamps are really not very good. It's almost like having a sunbed. Um, because I'm married to a plastic surgeon who does melanoma, I now have become very conscious about the sun and the damage and what melanoma actually is. If you're really interested, I do have on my highlights on my Instagram a real, no, not a real, it's like a live that I did with him. So I am making a, uh, a, t a turn, I'm trying these new products. I have heard great things. The reason why I do like getting shellac done is though because it lasts and it's really thick and I feel like this is not going to do that. However, I obviously haven't tried it, so I need to try it before I can give you a proper verdict on it. But we have here the base coat and the top coat. And then we've got different colours here, which are all quite neutral. Uh, they asked which colours I would like, and I just thought it's better to actually just keep it neutral for now, because obviously I'm going to paint my own nails, and I'm pretty useless at that. So let's keep it quite um, light. Uh, they also sent these for the girls, which I thought was really nice of them. So the idea is that it just wipes off very easily. If you watch all the social media videos, you seem to just put this on your nail and then put these little things over the top of it and it just comes off, uh, which I will be amazed at because I my poor nails, I literally was hacking at them all yesterday trying to get this stuff off that I had on previously. So I will let you know how I get on with this. As I say, a lot of people do rave about it, so I'm hoping for really good results. Uh, but I um, want it to be really good, so let's see how I get on. I'm going to try, I'm going to give my nails a breather, but I am going to try this. So once I've done it, I will let you know what it's like and if it's worth uh, buying and trying out.
Good morning, I'm out in the freezing garage. I'm about to get onto the Peloton. Really don't love this. I'm feeling pretty ill. So the last time I was ill, look at this filthy mirror. Sorry about that. Last time I was ill was at Christmas. Do you remember when I was really ill? I got the bug that was going around that everybody had. It was horrendous. I feel pretty ill today. My throat is really sore. My head is aching, my ears hurt, and I feel like my children have given me a cold. And I do not do ill. I'm not an ill person. I'm a get up and go. And so when everyone else is ill, I just don't have any sympathy. I'm like, you're fine, get on with it. But now I'm ill, it's a different story. I just feel horrendous. Anyway, I'm just gonna do a very gentle cycle and some weights. And then I will go and do my hula hoop, which I think you might have seen last week. Um, and then that's it. I might go for a walk later on if I feel up for it. But I just feel horrendous. I think everybody seems to be a bit sniffly at the moment and got the kind of spring uh, cold. My watch is beeping at me, telling me to move. This watch annoys me. I don't know how to get it off that. It beeps and says, stand up. No, it says, move. Right, anyway, I'm gonna get on with this. See you later. Good afternoon, I've got my eye masks on. I don't know whether you use these, but oh, they're brilliant. Um, so they're quite good if you keep them in the fridge as well. I should do that, shouldn't I? So you just, they're in here, inside here like this, and you just use the little spatula and you put them on. So I'm just sitting here at my desk. I've got so many emails, I'm just working through them all. I'm so slow at admin. That is something I really need to get better at. I'm trying to send my newsletter out for May. Yes, it is the 2nd of May and I've not sent it out yet. I'm always late. This is quite good for me though because it's normally like the 3rd by the time it goes out. Uh, it was ready to go and I wasn't ready with the photos. Everything else was ready yesterday and I just didn't get the photos in on time. So I'm just working on that now. I'm so full of cold. Just got out, found my vitamin C. Love these. Oh, it just doesn't like, it likes me, doesn't it? There we go. You can buy them, they're like tablets. I just put them with my water, I just drink it. And then I've also got my multivitamin. I've got all the vitamins out today. I've just been like, I need to get better. Uh, I don't do ill, do I? Um, so I'm just working through my to-do list. I've got a very exciting week next week. It's really exciting, I can't tell you. Um, so I'm just waiting for some emails to come back to confirm that and I need to book some trains. Um, so that's one hint. I'm going quite far away. Um, I'm not doing very well with my fasting. It's now 12.52. Oh, well, that's quite good, actually. I normally fast till one o'clock in the afternoon and I just have black coffee or I've just started having black tea, which is a bit weird, but it's actually, I'm liking it, uh, and water. So I finish eating at seven o'clock at night and then carry on till one o'clock at lunchtime the next day. So I'm going to have, I think, an omelette love eggs so i'm gonna have an omelette with um some salmon which i've already got in the fridge and some salad with it a big plate of it because i just feel like i need to get full and then tonight i'll probably just have some grilled chicken or something like that with salads uh i've got some a lentil salad which i made yesterday which is really nice with feta and um some red tomatoes so i'll probably have that um a lot of people were asking how the um fasting is going Today it's hard because I think I'm not very well, but on a normal day I've been doing really well and then at the weekends I've been eating what I want, which is kind of how to how I have to work when I'm on a diet because I just find it so hard. It almost has to become a lifestyle and I actually just have to carry on doing it for the rest of my life because what I do is I tend to lose a load of weight, put it all back on, lose a load of weight, put it all back on and that's just the story of my life. So I'm determined to try to not do it this time because it's such hard work dieting. Oh my gosh, I've lost over a stone, nearly a stone and a half since Christmas and I need to lose really another stone. Because I'm so small, I'm five foot two, like my BMI, I need to be really low and basically I don't think I've been that low since I was probably, I don't know, 20. So it, I find I do find it a real struggle but I've got to do it for health benefits and I've got to do it to feel better and I feel so much better when I'm not so heavy. I find exercise hard and everything hard 
work so i need to do it for me anyway i've got really i'm just looking at myself it's horrendous sorry you're watching this i um i'm going to hairdressers tomorrow to get rid of this um so i'm just going to leave it tied up today i've got a few errands to run though in town so i will probably have to do something about it what i don't know what i'm doing anyway came on to tell you about my detox and now i'm going to disappear and sort out this train ticket i'm just looking at my to-do list finish this newsletter uh make a poster for my event oh, can't tell you about that one either well i can't no i better not it's an event in june very exciting for bloggers and influencers so if you're one of those and you can get to york at the beginning of june then please watch keep watching because we're going to be doing something very very exciting most stuff happens down south and nothing much happens up here so we are bringing the party up here very excited right uh i'm gonna go and eat something now we're on 12 55 i can eat yes i've just had people messaging me about this fireplace so um this was basically a blank wall i'm gonna try and put some photographs up now so you can actually see what it was like it was a blank wall that was a horrible kind of magnolia color then i painted it dark gray so it was kind of black it was really nice because we had our kitchen down the other end from where i am and then basically i wanted my husband to build this in so my friends just had this done she's paid like four thousand pounds it pretty much is very similar to this which i can't believe and i feel like really grateful that i've got james because he's able to do these sorts of things so he had this kind of vision well i gave him the vision of what i wanted in the middle shelves either side cupboards underneath so it's quite good because we've got all our vases in this one and then we have all our spare glasses in this one for when we have like dinner parties and things like that so they're all shut away and it's great and then i obviously have all my objects on the top which he is like all the rubbish on the top but I slowly collect things, things are from my granny, things that people have given me, and I just put them on there, which I really like. So I've got that on display at the moment. I might rearrange it at some point. But I wanted to talk about the fireplace. So the fireplace is from eBay. It was like £16. James picked it up on the way back up from visiting family down south. I think he went via Lincoln and picked it up. It was a bit random, but it was like £16. It was bright like orangey like pretty much like the cabinet over there dark wood darker orange more orange think orange and um he sanded it all down to make it look like that I, to be honest i'd like it a bit lighter a bit like the frame above in fact i don't even like the frame to be honest i hope he's not watching this i think it all needs to be lighter but we have obviously got that dark wood in here which i always forget i don't really like this have you seen what this is it's like a old sort of radio thing and then this is a drinks cabinet bit in here it's really weird like it's got like strange padded don't know what that is anyway that's for like drinks and sugar and then this bit over here is the kind of radio bit it's really weird in here there's like a little record player as well um, oh, I can't even open it. Hold on. Inside there, there's like this record player, which he's been trying to get to work, but I don't think it will. Oh, I don't know how to do this. Anyway, um, so the point of it was that I, I would quite like this to be a lot lighter, but anyway, it's fine for now. Um, and then this is a frame for the Samsung, Samsung? Sorry, I don't know what's wrong with me. Um, TV, so it's literally he made it oh can i do this can you see that look it's still got the plastic on <laughs> um so he just made this frame like that um we did buy a frame can you remember back on back in the day and they were it was really expensive and horrible so it was just like james needs to make a frame so he made the frame and then those are kind of like old bricks that he kind of put down there so you can buy the bricks. I think they're called from the brick company or something like that. Um, and then the bit on the bottom is my sister's patio. So she had a few slabs left, so we nicked them. And then he's cut them down and put them on there. So the idea is we would quite like to get like a bioethanol wood burner to go in the middle there. 
it's fine now but in the winter I'd quite like a more of a feature and to make it a bit more cosier in here to make it look as if it's a wood burner because obviously this is not a chimney this is uh, a fake chimney I don't know what's happened with my picture here I quite like this one I don't know how to set these things oh there we are it's quite nice isn't it with the green tones um so yeah I, I've just had a load of questions through and I thought do you know what I'm going to show you guys too because I was doing videos for them of how it all works this is obviously a fake crystal door as well it's not real it's like a an MDF kind of wood uh but I think it works quite well uh the handles we got on yester I think it's called just to tie in the gold um, around. So we've got obviously the pookie lights here, which have got gold, we've got the gold on here. And so we kind of wanted to bring a bit more of the gold in. And then I've got my fabulous curtains, which are over here. So these are made by Luz Thread. She is amazing. She will, she's based up here in Yorkshire, but she can do whatever you would like. She can do quotes. And I've got the fan edging. This fan edging is from Susie Watson. Um, so I had to buy quite a lot of it and it was pricey, but I think it just adds to it. Because I've got this amazing wallpaper here, I didn't want to then have a pattern on the curtain. I wanted to keep it quite plain. So the wallpaper just looks so bright on this wall. If I go back here with the pink sofas and everything, it's, it all ties really nicely together. But I just thought if I do something bright on the curtains, it would be too much. The curtains are really thick, so they've got a lovely lining. This is my Floor & Co fabric. Uh, and I can print whatever colour I want on the stripe. So this is kind that of, you can't really see, but it's like a greeny to go with the green that's over there, I think. Um, and it just, they just sit really nicely. I wanted them really long on the floor. And in the winter, it just feels so nice and cosy in here. You cannot even imagine what this room was like before. I will try and put some before uh, photos up for you to see. Um, Oh, my friend bought me these the other day for coming in for lunch and they're just beautiful aren't they so stunning i'm trying to flip them out as well do you know that trick where you flip them when they're about to go i'm a bit early with this one but i was just like will it work not quite and you flip them out and they look beautiful i'll have a go at the end of the week i think because they're so nice anyway i just thought i'd fill you in on that because this friend is saying how can I create this without spending £4,000? And I'm like, I think I need to hire out my husband to come and do this for you because I don't know else how else you're going to do it. I'm not sure. Good morning. Um, I am no makeup again today and disastrous hair. I'm getting my hair done, which I'm so excited about. Look at these black roots they're there oh you can't they're, then worse further back don't worry um so i'm very pleased to be getting my hair done oh my gosh i love getting my hair done and i do not do it often enough and i need to because obviously i've got dark hair originally and i did try going dark once and it was a disaster i think i've been light ever since like i was a teenager so it just suits me having it light but it's a lot of upkeep and a lot of money um so i'm also heading in for a really quick facial at the beauty bar um, department in clarence so you might have seen on my previous vlogs that they have this beauty bar in the leeds john lewis and you can book in for a facial now i think it's gone up to 28 pounds and it's like a 45 minute facial um and so you have to sort of sit in these kind of chairs that recline sort of behind the counter in a uh, in a room it sounds not great but it is and i think it's really reasonable you know facials at the moment are so expensive i was like looking randomly the day and i was like how much um so i'm gonna go and treat myself to have that then head to get my hair done then rush to get the school run done and i'm hoping in the hairdressers i've got my uh, diary i'm gonna sit and get work done i've got so much work to do um so i'm hoping that i can just sit and plow through anyway i will uh catch up with you later i'll show you my hair of course once i've had it done
lovely parts. Good afternoon, I've just got back, um, had a really lovely morning. Oh, can you see our bunting? We've put some bunting up there, which I think I'm gonna have to take down actually because I need to do a photo shoot later. I'm gonna wait for the sun to go down. I can't believe I'm actually saying that. Oh, I've left the fridge open, hold on. The, the sun is actually shining and it's really nice and warm for once. Um, so I have had my hair done. I'm really pleased with it. He just does it so nicely. I wish I could have it done like this all the time. And it always looks so effortless when he sort of curls it round. He's so good. Um, so let me just stand you up there. So I went for my facial first, which hopefully you saw a little clip of. It's quite difficult to film in there. They're all probably like, what's she doing? But I kind of feel like I need to tell you about it. So it was 28 pounds. And then if you have a My John Lewis card, which you can easily get, you just download it for free. Um, you get a add-on treatment. So I had a back massage like on the chair. So it was kind of like at the top of the back of my neck. It was amazing. So the lady I go to is called Jess. She's so good. Um, and it's like a real nice treat. Being only 28 pounds, I think is just really good compared to other very facials. So my fit skin afterwards just felt amazing. Um, but with the, my, um, I want to say my waitrix, no, my John Nurse card, you get this add-on for free, they do deals. And so you have this add-on, which is nine pounds, so it's not that much, but if you don't want to pay for that, it's quite good having the, the free treatment. So they are running it this month, hopefully they'll run it again next month, but you just look out on there. They have quite good competitions and things like that. So I had a little Potter and John Lewis, not as long as I would have liked. Um, then I headed to um, HomeSense, and I always love going to home sets because they have really good faux flowers um, and I like to incorporate those with my more expensive ones so that I've got a mixture. Um, so I'll show you in a minute what I bought in there. Um, I've got my coffee. I'm going to have another coffee. I'm going to get on with some work before I have to go and pick everyone up. Um, obviously, then I went to get my hair done. I had a little bit of a trim, but not much. So got it all here. And he was saying I would like some more height here and he's saying the problem is my hair is so thick that it's very heavy that I'm not ever going to get the height that I want up here but anyway I'm really pleased with how it looks I just love it so I'm doing a giveaway on Saturday so by the time this goes live it probably won't oh it might be live should be live I'm not sure I can't work it out in my brain for this. So this company who I've worked with before on um, Instagram have sent me six bottles and I'm going to be doing a giveaway on Saturday. So like a coronation themed giveaway. So I need to, I think I need to set up some bunting. Uh, I'm going to get my big camera out and do some nice photos of what you could win. Um, I sometimes have done competition for the reels and it just doesn't share very well on there because if you're asking people to comment and then to share on stories I don't know why sharing the reel just never seems to get the attraction of just being a static post is much better I mean um, so I'm just going to do some static post pictures I think with maybe like the flags in the background I'm just going to set it up I'm thinking should I do it outside it's really nice out there I'll wait for the bright sun to go down and then go out there and try and set it up um, and then 
I was going to show the peonies and then I am doing a course at the moment online which I signed up for quite a while ago now and it's come round and I'm suddenly like oh my gosh I've got so much work to do so I've been working on that I'll tell you a little bit more about it in the next few weeks it's been something that I've wanted to do for ages and I'm really pleased that I'm actually pushing myself to do something a bit out of my comfort zone um, I tend to avoid doing any sort of reading or work so it's quite a lot of work uh, but fun work so I'm really pleased I'm doing it so I'm working on that this week I've got loads of homework to do for it which I haven't done I'm actually behind um, so I'm going to try and crack on with some of that now um, and then hopefully I'll be able to reveal to you in a few weeks what I'm up to but it's really exciting it's really really good let me show you these peonies so I have a, bought these they're a bit random the colour but I quite like them um so obviously they're yellow pennies but the reason why I like them is the price they're 3 49 and they had some pink ones in there for 2 99 you can't really beat those sort of prices with faux flowers I'll tell you where I went the other day though Dunelm and they had a great selection in there so I've got already some pink peonies, quite a lot. Um, so what I try and do with my faux flowers is rotate them seasonally. At the moment in, in here, I've got this big vase. Can you see there if I get out of the picture? So that is a Charles Stead vase. And then inside I have got um, the Suffolk Nest. They, um, I'll try and put a link below. They've got beautiful bouquets of flowers. So I've put that there because the vase was so big I then had to add in, add in a few more so I actually picked up these which I think are called verbatim remember when I saw them in the garden center the other day uh maybe that's not the right word um from the charity shop so I was very excited by that because they were very reasonable and I've just put them in there um so it's just a really nice feature on the island because it's quite big in the other room though if I take you down stairs in the lounge we've got i've actually got my lovely purple tulips that a friend gave me and then in the back i've got some spring flowers oh, that's um, a jumper this is all look at this this is all my vintage stuff that i'm selling uh i think i've sent off about 20 loads of different clothes to today so loads is selling which is great from when I sorted out my wardrobe stuff. And then my old lady neighbour said, oh, do you think you'd be able to sell some things for me? So now I'm selling loads for her too. I'm just selling for everybody. Um, if you've not been on Vinted, then I totally recommend it. Uh, anyway, I'm really pleased with the peonies because I think they're a really reasonable price and they're just quite, I think they're really good quality. And if you put them with more expensive ones, um, then I think you don't seem to notice the quality as much anyway so uh top tip is go to home sense where you will find lots of lovely faux flowers so i now need to go and dig out my pink peonies and find a vase i'm just looking for vase i'm just thinking what have i got over here i've got some more this is my blossom branches which i kind of don't want to get rid of yet this is a big flag my husband went a bit mad and bought a big flag i was like where are you gonna put that it was like outside hanging up. I said, where? We've not got a flagpole. So I don't really know what that is about anyway. Um, but in this vase here, I have got obviously blossom um, or that's falling out vase. But anyway, you can kind of see. So I don't really want to get rid of that yet because blossom's still out. So I think I need another vase. I might head down to the charity shop. They've always got cool vases down there. Um, anyway. Before I do that, I must go and do some work for this course I'm doing and sort out these photos while I've got time. So I will probably be back on here later. I'm trying to think, tomorrow's really busy. In fact, every day is busy. It's a bit crazy. I'm really, really chock a block. I'm trying to get ready for this big event next week. I'm very excited. So finally the sun's gone down, but it's still a lovely evening. So I've just been trying to put my bunting up to create a little um, tablescape on here. So I've got my bunting. This bunting was actually off eBay. I buy lots of bunting off eBay. I think it's the best value and you can find some really good makers on there. Um, so we wanted kind of like a vintage flag. So we've got that on there. And then up on the back, we've got some more flags. We've, in fact, we've gone a bit over the top. <laughs> 
Um, but I've just been photographing this ready for the giveaway, which is going live on Saturday morning. Um, so I'm really excited to be doing this giveaway. This is really lovely stuff. And I also think um, it makes great presents because it's just packaged so beautifully. So if I'm going out to a dinner party or something, I love to take a bottle of this with me. You can buy it in all major supermarkets too. Um, oh yeah, they're on the what that one you mean on the water? Yeah, the one that looks like. Oh yeah, look. Oh, I always think they're going to deliver a baby, a stork. See, they've seen she's seen me, the mum. Is that a duck? What is that? It's a mandarin, isn't it? And yeah, so sweet. Good afternoon. I have had such a crazy busy day. I feel like I need lots of coffee. I have run a play group this morning, which was really busy, which was great. And then I feel like I've just been running around. I went to the garden centre, picked up a load of plants. I've got some hanging kind of, they're not baskets, they're kind of like troughs to go on our balcony. So I've been got loads of plants for that picked up some stuff for the barbecue that we're having at the weekend and then what did I do I went for lunch at a friend's house which was really nice but it was so quick because then I had to rush to go to an eyebrow appointment so I've had my eyebrows can you see they're laminated um so you can only get this done like every six weeks and I think because I have such coarse eyebrows I need it done more than that but I don't think I can technically allowed to get it done more than that so i i really like having it done i'm still trying to grow this bit here can you see uh but they're they're growing really well and they're much better shape than they were so i'm really pleased with them so i had that done i had um my lash extensions done as well i don't know if you can see them in this light it's not very good um so i have them quite natural so they don't look like they are full-on eyelashes and i love having them done it's like a real luxury really what i need to do is get some some sort of botox done don't i let's not look at that um so i'm just trying to organize this event that i've got planned and it's turning out to be a bit of a nightmare event planning is really hard work it's crazy busy with all these different people to consider and it's really hard like one person says no and then the puzzle just falls and you're just like oh god so we're still sorting out the date, which we were doing four weeks ago. And it's like, what? And we're just going round, round. So I've just picked up the phone, actually phoned and spoke to somebody because I just find that sometimes emails just, I don't know what happens. It takes ages to get anywhere with it. So I just picked up the phone, got a really nice lady and she says she's gonna sort it out. So let's see what happens. I feel like I've run a marathon. So I'm gonna plow on with some work, try and do some of my course that I'm doing and i want to show you something that's arrived i'm so excited the head of pr has just sent me this at crew clothing these are my photos which is very exciting so this is photos i took for the coronation so that's eleanor's lovely products there so she sells this fabric by the meter and then she's got cards and uh, mugs you would have seen all this last week if you watched the vlog and then these are the photos that i took of the scones i love the the the, these are M&S if you want some. It's going to be too late by the time you watch this. And then these are some more photos that I took. And they've done some writing. That's not my photo. They've obviously used some sort of stock photo. But anyway, here's another one of my photos. Very exciting. So that is the mug again. And then this is my dress, which I'm really pleased with. I absolutely love it. So this is my crew clothing. It's called the Henley Wave Dress. So it's part of their Henley Regatta um collection They've got some really lovely things in uh, but this is a little photo that i took outside in the garden so i'm really chuffed um that there's like it's just me featured on their blog post all about the coronation how exciting is that for crew clothing i'm so pleased 
um just like oh i've just sent it to my family they're like oh wow um and my brother-in-law said i need to go out and buy the henley dress and i was like yes you do i hope you've got your outfit sorted so if you click on there read now it will take you to stuff to wear for the coronation um which is really nice obviously the red white and the blue so people can buy it today to get it delivered tomorrow so they've got it ready for saturday so they've got some really lovely things in at the moment on crew clothing uh as i've mentioned before my husband buys all his shirts here um he loves it and they're like t-shirts and everything so it's really lovely I and mean, anyway i'm really pleased that that is featured on there um if i click it back in i'm just gonna send it to everybody i know say look i'm on the crew clothing how exciting so look what's just arrived from lk bennett how stunning is this it's kind of like a pinky mauvey kind of colour, I would say. On the website, it looks a lot more pink, but I still love it. It's beautiful. So, obviously, it's a little hat. Um, and I actually ordered a top, too, so it must be coming separately, the top. But I just thought that would look really nice in summer. So cute. I hate putting hats on it anyway. I'm not really a hat person. So I thought this might be good for my hair so that I don't attack it too much with an actual hat. But how cute is that? I love it. Really, really beautiful for summer. And it comes with a little bag too, which I thought was really sweet. So I can keep it nice and looked after. I always see the hat box there, I think, really, to look after it. My hats are not looked after. But how cute is that? I really love it. I've just stuck it on, you can't really see in this mirror. Um, I can't see to show you what it looks like. It's really nice, can you, I don't think you can even see the bar. Anyway, I really like it, really pleased, it's so cute. So you've obviously got your hair here and here's the bow. It's really nice, it's quite, quite some sort of solid. I don't really wanna bend this, I need to make sure it's really looked after. Very nice. I've just seen something else that's arrived. This is from my husband. He's like obsessed with chutneys at the moment. Um, he seems to like put chutneys on everything. So he's just gone and bought some more Dalesford chutneys. What have we got? Oh, the caramelized onion chutney, that is so good. When we went down to Dalesford a couple of weeks ago, we bought some. I think I've had hardly any of it and he's eaten the whole lot. And then we've got this one, which is, Oh, this is so nice. Organic fig and balsamic chutney. How yummy and delicious is that? So we're gonna have that. In fact, I need to go and edit my food order because we need to get a cheese board and have this with our cheese board. Oh gosh, I'm running, I'm running out of time. Bye bye. Good morning, I just wanted to show you my outfit. Um, so I've put on my blazer for the first time this year, actually. I've keep seeing loads of people wearing blazers on social media. I'm like, it's freezing. Anyway, I'm gonna do it because I'm only going out for a short amount of time. So I've got on my uh, Holland & Cooper blouse, which I absolutely love, remember, because it's no ironing. And it's really useful. The light, the stripes go down, which is always a bonus for me, not going across. And then I've got my, Iv uh, the Ivy jeans, they're called. Maybe they're not called the Ivy, they're just called Ivy, um, from Marks, which I totally recommend, high-waisted, they're like the dark coloured ones. I have got them in white too. And then I've got these lovely wedges. So these are from Hobbs. Um, they're navy, although they look black there. Everything is navy. I'm more of a navy person, I think, than a black person, but I do like black. I've just seen a really lovely navy dress. So what I'm gonna do is try and pull the cuffs of the shirt out, just down the bottom here, so you can just see that. Um, but I really like this. It's just a classic, easy to wear look. I'm getting ready because my parents are coming up for the bank holiday. Um, so I'm just trying to, I've just been trying to tidy up. Look what arrived. Doo -doo -doo -doo. So it's quite funny. We have been having funny conversations in our household because the girls say that I dress up to come in to do the school run. Usually it's because I've been to a meeting. It's not going to dress up to the school run. And they say, all the other mums don't don't dress up. Look at me. <laughs> um, and you, you always look, like, really good, is what they said. And I said, well, that's a good thing, isn't it? Anyway, so the other day, they dared me to wear a headscarf into school. Luckily, only one mum saw me. 
because we were late um and so i was like okay fine i'll do it i'll wear this headscarf and look, i basically look like the queen uh the late queen and it, it was like um a coronation one a hobbs one it was lovely so i was like yep yeah, i'll wear it they were dying with embarrassment they couldn't believe i was doing it anyway i've got these i look like a right, <laughs> right idiot um yeah i've got them on vintage so don't worry they were like four pounds uh, they're Zara, but they're quite cool, aren't they? <laughs> Not me at all, but I'm going to wear these to go and pick them up one day. <laughs> they will die. Uh, anyway, I don't do this all the time, but I just think it's quite funny. So I've got this outfit. I'm going to take them off because I look hilarious. And I've also got my lovely bag. Let me just get that for you. Here we are. So this is my Osprey bag. Do you know what? I've had so many comments on this bag. Um it's so nice it's like a really nice summer bag so i'm really pleased with it so i've just been um looking at all my bags for summer i've got quite a few baskets but i actually think i'm going to use this one the most it's really nice so it's osprey it's new on the website now go and have a look really really nice anyway i need to head out i'm going to meet a lovely friend for lunch who i haven't seen for ages and we are going to one of my favorite restaurants i will take you oh my gosh that looks so good ah, that's incredible i'm gonna have to come back for that one <laughs> that looks so good so i'm actually back in the car now um i've just had a really lovely lunch with a friend uh, at the world plum in harrogate if you are at harrogate way then I totally recommend this place. You can't book, you just have to turn up and you have to queue. The queue goes pretty quickly and it's definitely well worth the wait. In my opinion, it's like Michelin star food. It is so good. The flavors and the like the stuff they do is just amazing. It, as you can see, it looked beautiful. My friend had this mushroom thing, it was so good. Um, so we didn't have dessert because we were being really good, but we had some coffee and it was just such a lovely place to go. So I can't wait to go back there already. It was so good. That's the queen. <coughs> to witness here you'll see just a moment ago and in a moment's time the queen coming into the abbey before her husband there's the king is there he is king. see him just behind her can you see him and at this point okay. before there he is the king the enters the abbey the of close friends of course the prince just nine years old much the youngest of Just put those, You're gonna have those on there. Do you think there's another layer? I feel like there might be. Oh my god, there is. Oh my gosh. Oh my god, there is. Wow. Well, move the sucky out of the picture. That is a lot of um, celebration. Which one do you guys want? I, I want think there's another layer. Should we have the sandwiches? Let's have the sandwiches first. Yeah, this is for afternoon tea. This is later. This is for afternoon tea later on. Look at that. That's a lovely present. What do we say? Thank wow. you, Chessie. Wow. Felicity. Isn't that amazing? It's beautiful. Look how many lights. Oh, look. Is that all right, guys? Yeah. Oh, my God. What's Louie going to be like in the rain? They should have a gazebo up. 
last on Sunday morning. It's, it's boring. Yes, here's the big moment. Here's the main event. Absolutely. So the Red Arrows, because they are a professional display team, they can work to uh, greater weather limits than the other aircraft who have unfortunately been unable to join us. So you do get the chance to see the iconic Red Arrows. Here we go. Woo! Red was in this last time, wasn't he? Not in it this time. This is the moment. Oh, who's there? Who's there? Good afternoon. Um, we are out for a walk, doing a quick, fast walk all the way around. We always done all day is basically sit, watch the coronation, and eat. So we just thought we'd get out. So we've left all the children with the grandparents, and we are off um, to get some air. Basically, it's not a great day, but it's not pouring, so we have to be grateful for that. Uh, tonight, though, we're heading out for dinner, so it is a day of pretty much eating. So we were like, we need to get a good hour fast walk in so that's what we're up to today this afternoon tonight we're going out to the Alice Hawthorne pub which is one of my favorite pubs um if you're in Yorkshire um I definitely recommend it I will put a link to it below it is really lovely it's like a country pub in the most beautiful village and the food is amazing so I'm very excited to go there we celebrated my mum's birthday which was this week um so we're going with my mum and dad um, I'll try and take some photos later of the food and what it looks like, but I'm very excited to be going out. Tomorrow we are off on a spa trip. Me, my sister and my mum, and we are going to Grantley Hall. So I will take you with me and show you around. Um, but I am very excited because it is the nicest spa I think I've ever been to. We are back, we're just walking along the river now. Um, on the other side, I'm just going to walk along here to show you. It's actually quite turning in to be quite a nice day. Um, very warm. Over this side, you can see the weir. On the hill there you can see in the distance is my house that I'm manifesting there that one there just showed my sister she was like wow well then there's one section that doesn't really lose their hair and their hair goes Good morning from um, Grantley Hall. We are here. Oh, look, there's something new coming here. That looks amazing. Wow. Really lovely. Um, so we're back here at Grantley Hall. You must think I'm a regular. I wish I was a regular. Uh, I wasn't that long ago here on a spa trip. While I'm back, um, I've come for my mum's birthday. Um, she was 75 in Long Wednesday and she doesn't live anywhere near us so they've come up for the weekend and we are here so she is over the moon because I've talked a lot about this place um, I've also got my sister with me and we are at the spa so this is the outside bit of the spa area 
it's so lovely and what's really nice is that there's hardly any people when you know when you go to the spas and they're just filled with people and it feels like it's sort of I don't know, I feel like it's like little lemmings all working around in their dressing gowns. It's not like that here. So we've already had a welcome breakfast, which was lovely. And then we are chilling out in all the different pool areas. We're about to go and have our treatment. So we're all having a facial, but with a back massage too. Um, so I'm really hoping it's gonna be good. My sister's got high standards too. I've got my robes on. Um, and let me just show you around a bit inside so you can see what it's actually like. It, I think, is my favourite spa um, so far that I've been to. I have got quite a few spa trips planned over the next few months, but this, I think, is the best so far. So here we've got, like, a little jacuzzi pool area. So you come in here from the outside, you just slide the door, and then you've got these areas here where you can sit, um, and then you can lie there on the bubbles. And then around here we've got, like, the sauna, it's all like the touches are so nice like look at that with the eyes and everything and then this is going down to the treatment rooms here is the snow room which unfortunately they're redoing which i'm quite upset about because it's amazing the snow room um so if you come i hope that is all right for you and then they've got here the uh, steam room let me show you whoa i've just been in there it's so nice um see them chilling over there. So I've just finished the treatment and this is the relaxation room. It's just lovely. So the beds like go up and down. I'm gonna sit down here now and wait for my sister and mum to come back. Oh my gosh, that was amazing. an absolutely stunning day it's glorious this is the best day we've had so far here in Yorkshire I'd say this year I have got a short sleeved uh, dress on and it is so warm so lovely so this is kind of like a, um, a bar or a restaurant this bit in the middle here the, the marquee and then this is one of the restaurants on over here called Fletcher's which is really nice and then people have been walking up here to walk in the grounds. The building from the back is absolutely stunning. I've never really come round the back before. I've just come out the spa entrance. So imagine in the summer you can probably sit out here um, to use the spa. Oh, that's so nice. Even like the breeze is lovely. These are the Three Graces here. It's called the Three Graces Spa. Oh, look at this. How cute. Lovely. 
And if you walk through here, there's like a little wine area. Area. I love this room. I just love the two colours in here. The kind of goldy and then with the mustard and then the kind of teal turquoise. Let me take a photo of you rather than you do it yourself. Yeah. <laughs> okay, start are you standing there? Yeah. Okay, hold on.